in case you're just joining us this is a con this is the continuation of the part one of this tutorial so if you want to understand this how to make how to make a madame blouse you need to watch the first video so that you can understand better so you're welcome to today's tutorial my name is amaka and this is lisa mass teaches thanks for joining us and also subscribe to the to my channel if you've not subscribed and click on the notification bell so that you can be notified whenever i upload new videos so let's get started now i've padded my blouse i told you i was going to attach it i was going to iron interfacing on my blouse now this is it i've padded it now this there is interfacing on my main fabric and on the lining the same thing with the back panel so i'm going to show you how to how to cover your blouse with your lace how to sew your blouse with your lace so i'm going to keep this one aside so this is the main fabric now this is inside i've ironed it i ironed inside press the seam open the seam allowance i press it open now this is the lace you might be wondering how come my blouse is now having a sweetheart neckline i actually checked the picture of the blouse i'm supposed to sew and it has a sweetheart neckline so i had to i had to do this you know initially i told you that i'm going to leave my pattern paper that way that i'm not going to cut it but the blouse i'm sewing in the picture i checked the picture and it's a sweet it has a sweetheart neckline so that's why this one is having a sweetheart neckline now it's a patterned lace some persons at times some people used to cut this lace you know when they want to sew it they cut it but i'm not going to cut it i'm not going to cut it because the pattern lace the pattern is there already for you to follow so i'm just going to follow the pattern and trim it and sew it i'll show you how to do it now this is the lace Now you see the pattern. So I'm going to use this with this pattern because I like the way it is. I like the way it is on the front. I just like the way it is. You can use here as well. Now I'm using here. I'm going to use here because I like the way it is. I like the design. So I'm going to use this part for the sleeve. I'm going to use this part for the sleeve. So now I'm going to trim. I'm going to trim here. I'm going to trim it, pin it, gum the part I'm going to gum. I have my fabric gum. I'm going to use my fabric gum to gum the part that I'm going to gum. But I'm going to work with my pin a lot. You know, when doing this, you need to work with your pin. Your pin should be your friend. So that's what I'm going to do now. So I'm going to pin it down to make sure that I have the pattern that I need. Now, this is the center front. This is the center front. And if you look at the lace, the lace has pattern now this is the center front of this so i'm going to pin it now while pinning it keep adjusting the bust with your hands so you don't flatten the cup and try not to stretch the net do it carefully until you're satisfied with what you have If you have a body form, it will be easy for you. But if you don't have, you can also do it the way I'm doing it. So when you're pinning it, try not to stretch it. When you're pinning it, try not to stretch your neck so that you don't um, you don't flatten your cup. Just you know, just arrange it very well and pin it down. Then after pinning it, you cut it. So I'm going to cut it now. When once you're sure that you've done a neat job, you can now cut it. You can now trim it. So I'm I'm going to do that now.
So this is the front. You see how the front is? You see how it is? So this is the front. Now, let me show you how to join the front. Now, this is what I'm going to do. When I take it to my sewing machine, I'm going to place it this way. You see that it has, I'm going to place it this way. When I take it to my sewing machine, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to sew, I'm going to sew it this way. I'll sew it. I'll start by sewing the neck. After sewing the neck, I'm going to put the seam allowance on the lining and top stitch. After that, I'm going to sew the side, sew it this way, and the, the sleeve is going, the armhole is going to be open. Then from the armhole, I'm going to turn it inside out. So that's, that's it for the front. For the back, the same way I, for the back panel, the same way I did the front, that's what I'm going to do on the back. Now for the back, this is one part of the back panel. Now this design that is left, I'm going to use it for the sleeve. You know it's, a, it's an off shoulder sleeve. So I'm going to use it for the sleeve. This design, I'm going to use it for the sleeve. So for the back, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to use the remaining part for the back. Now this is what I'm going to do. For this one, just the same way I pinned the front, I pinned down the front panel. That's how I'm going to pin down this one and also pin the other one. I have two left. So this is what I'm going to do. Now, because of time, I just want to show you. I'm not going to. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to pin them down. Now, after pinning them, I'll cut them. Now, after cutting, you see this remaining. You see this this remaining ones. These ones. I'm going to cut them out and paste them on the back and some on the front too. So I'm cutting the back. I just want to show you how to cut the back. So this is the back. So I'm going to place the lining. Now I'm going to place the lining on the main fabric, right side facing right side. And I'll start by sewing the neck. I'll sew the neck with, I'm going to sew the neck with half inch seam allowance. And I'll push the lining on the seam. I'll push the seam allowance on the lining and top. I'll notch, after notching, I'll push the lining on the, I'll push the seam allowance on the lining and top stitch. After that, I'll sew here with half inch seam allowance, half inch seam allowance, half inch seam allowance, and I'll pull it out from the armhole. I'm going to do the same here. So I'll do it and show you the outcome. So guys, now this is it. So this is my blouse. Now this is the front, this is the front panel. This is the back. So now the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to join this together. Now this is how I'm going to do it. Let me show you what I'll do. I'm going to take this to my sewing machine and I'm going to, okay. I'm going to take this to my sewing machine and I'm going to sew it. I'll join it this way and I'll join it this way. But before I'll do that, I'm going to iron this very well. I've not ironed it. I'm going to give it a thorough press. Then I'll now attach this to this and sew it and this to this and I'll sew it and sew it. So I'll do it and, uh, and show you the out, what it looks like. Then after that, I'm going to show you how to attach, how to draft the sleeve and attach the sleeve, how to measure your round shoulder measurement and get the sleeve and attach the sleeve. So keep watching. Now you see how the front is, you see, you see how the design is. I did not cut it. It doesn't have, the lace doesn't have joining. You see, that is why the design came out well. So that's just it with, for now. So I'll do it and show you the outcome. So this is it. Now this is the blouse. You see how it is? You see, so this is the front and this is the back. Now, what we are going to do, we are going to, att to attach the sleeve. Now, one important measurement you need when making off shoulder, you need one important measurement. That measurement is your round shoulder measurement. 
Now, without that round shoulder measurement, you can't make a perfect off shoulder top or whatever you want to make. You need your round shoulder measurement to make an off shoulder sleeve. Now, to make our sleeve, we will be working with our round shoulder measurement. The round shoulder measurement you're working with is 37 inches. Now we are going to measure this. Now we are going to measure the front. Now the front panel is 12 inches and the back, the back is 13 inches. The back is 13 inches. Now, remember that we also have our seam allowance here. Our seam allowance here. Now the seam allowance on the front is one inch. That is half inch here, half inch here. And the back is also one inch, half inch here, half inch here. So we have two inches seam allowance in total. Now, the front is 12 inches and the back is 13 inches. So 12 plus 13, 12 plus 13 gives you 25 inches. Now 25 minus 2 inches, the 2 inches seam allowance gives you 23 inches. So we are going to be working with, gives you 23 inches. Now remember that I said that our round shoulder measurement is 37 inches. So you're going to minus 23 inches from 37 inches. So 37 minus 23 inches, 37 minus 23 inches gives you, gives you 14 inches. So what we, are, what we are working with for our sleeve, what we are working with is 14 inches. I'm going to keep this aside and I'll bring our pattern paper. So this is the pattern paper we'll be working with. Now, the first thing we are going to do is to find our cap height. Now, the cap height, our cap height, now, to get you, for you to be able to find your cap height, now, the cap height measurement is both circumference divided by 12, and whatever it gives you, whatever it gives you, you add 0 0.5 inches to it, whatever it gives you, that's your cap height measurement. The cap height measurement I'm working with is 3.5 inches. So now, this is my cap height measurement. I'm going to mark 3.5 inches here. And the sleeve length, the sleeve length I'm working with is, the sleeve length I'm working with is five inches plus one inch seam allowance. I'm using one inch seam allowance because I'm going to hem this part. I'm going to use half inch to hem the upper part and half inch to hem the lower part. I'm lining it now to line it, to line the lower part and to line the upper part. Now, so I'm going to mark six inches. That is one inch for my seam, al seam allowance. So I'll connect it. Remember that we're working with 14 inches. Now, that 14 inches is for the two sleeves. That 14 inches is for the two sleeves. We are going to use, now we are going to, be, we are going to divide 14 inches by two. And that gives you seven inches. So seven inches is going to be for one sleeve and seven inches for one sleeve. So we are going to be using seven inches for this sleeve. So what we are working with now is seven inches. So now because this, because this pattern paper is on fold, because this pattern paper is on fold, I'm going to divide seven inches by two and that gives you 3.5 inches so i'm going to mark 3.5 inches here three point five inches now here i'm now this is going to be my armhole measurement the armhole measurement i'm working with is 14 point 14.5 inches so 14.5 inches divided by two 14.5 inches divided by two that gives you seven seven one quarter Seven one quarter. Now the sleeve, the round sleeve measurement I'm working with is eleven inches. Eleven divided by two gives you five point five inches. Sorry, I didn't mark here. Now this is the. Sorry, the sleeve length is five inches. The sleeve length is five inches. So I'll connect this point. So now this is the sleeve length. This is the cap height. This is the seam allowance. So now on the, on the sleeve length, I'm going to take the round sleeve measurement on the sleeve length. The round sleeve measurement is 11 inches. 11 divided by, 11 divided by 2 gives you 5.5 inches. So I'm going to mark 5.5 inches here. And I'm going to mark 5.5 inches here as well. So I'll connect it.
this. I'm going to now I'll connect this point to this point. With my curve jeweler. It doesn't have to go inside because it's off shoulder. Remember when you were drafting your off shoulder pattern the, for the top, you, you, you the armhole. It doesn't have to go inside because it's off shoulder. It doesn't have to be deep because it's off shoulder. What we need here is just a slight curve. Now I'm going to add the seam allowance. I'm using 1.5 inches seam allowance because I'm lining it. And I'll connect it. So I'll cut it. So this is our off shoulder. So this is a sleeve. Now I'm going to use this sleeve. I'm going to use this pattern to cut out the sleeve. Now I just want to show you what I've done so far. Now this is the sleeve. You see the sleeve? This is it. This is it. So now this is my lining. This is the lace. I now this I used the satin as the under layer, and now I'm going to place it this way. I've sewn here with half inch seam allowance. I'm going to this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to push the seam allowance on the lining and top stitch, and I'll sew here with half inch seam allowance, and I'll push the seam allowance on the lining and top stitch. I'm going to do that from here, from here. Now after which I'm going to pull it out. I'm going to turn it inside out from this part. Now, when you look at this one, I've done this one already. Now you see, you see that I top stitched on the lining. I top stitched on the on the lining. So now this is my off shoulder sleeve. So I'm going to attach it on the blouse and show you the and display it on my mannequin. So this is it. I'm done sewing. Now this is my blouse. You see the sleeve. You see the sleeve. You see how it is. You see the design. You see the pattern so that's just it with this tutorial if you learned something from this tutorial please give this video a thumbs up share this video with your friends share this video in your sewing groups subscribe click on the subscribe button to subscribe subscription is free feel free to follow me on instagram and facebook at lizama stitches we've come to the end of this tutorial thanks for watching see you in my next video bye